Hey everyone, Hasbro just announced a bunch of new Star Wars stuff at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm going to reveal some of those things to you and also give you my opinions on them. Let's go! Alright, so let's start off with the retro collection. So the first thing that uh, I've got to show you today is Hasbro revealed this two pack with Boba Fett and Bosk. And uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good pack. I, I, just to just to say a little bit about the retro collection, I, I'm kind of torn on it. Sometimes I, I, I want to go out and I buy want to get every single one of those figures. And sometimes I'm just like, I don't think I need to go out and get these figures. I, I think it's good to have this line, especially for those that uh, didn't grow up with Star Wars toys. They don't have the original Star Wars toys. I know that I grew up with them. I still was lucky enough uh, to, to be able to hold on to all of my original Star Wars figures. So I have these figures. I have them from when I was a kid. They hold uh, a, a special, you know, a special place in my heart because I grew up with them and I love them. And Star Wars was, you know, awesome. But uh, these ret this whole retro line is, is pretty great, especially for those that don't have those original figures. Um, I'm not going to be picking up all of these, but this is a this is a two pack and this one I'm debating on. I may or may not go for it. It is Boba Fett. Boba Fett and Bosk are two great characters. Uh, they were only on screen for a short time, but uh, just knowing just just knowing that they were bounty hunters is pretty awesome. So I I do like this particular release. Um, I'm not so sure that I like the two pack idea. I like just being able to get the one figure at a time. But uh, here's pretty good look at the figures themselves they look exactly the way they were way back when when they were first released um, I do not know if Boba Fett is going to have a firing jetpack it doesn't look like he is and we can see here uh, that the best part of the retro line is the packaging that by far the packaging is the best part of the retro line I the only thing that I would change with this retro line is I'm not a big fan of the fact that that big retro logo is so big I wish it was smaller because having that big uh, picture of the character is what made the original Star Wars figure packaging uh, better than any other packaging I think I've uh, I can for me the Star Wars packaging of the original figures is better than anything uh, else that, that any other packaging that you can find um, but I, I'm not a big fan that, of the fact that this the retro sticker or the retro logo is so large on the packaging um, I don't mind the weathered look to it I think the weather look is kind of neat but um, you know this two pack Boba Fett Bosk good characters, good figures. Um, I'm probably going to try to pick this up at some point in time. So here's what the uh, box will actually look like. And this is what I'm not a big fan of. I wish that with this box that, I mean, let's face it, the people that are buying these retro figures, most of them are not buying. Most people that are buying these retro figures are not buying them in order to uh, take them out of the package. That just, I would be surprised. I know that there are some. Um, I'm not one of those. If I get any of these retro figures, I get them because of the packaging. And uh, thankfully, Hasbro did announce recently that they were going to continue to uh, use pl the plastic bubbles for this line and also their um, vintage collection line. And because they're going to no no plastic for their Black Series line eventually, but uh, this this packaging is just awesome. But this packaging where they've got two both figures together in the same box, I don't know that that's just kind of pointless to me. I that's why I wish that they would just release these figures individually so that this part you know you didn't have to worry about. I'm not a big fan of this this box, but the figures are good. The original packaging is good. I mean, if I get this, I'm taking these figures out and I'm hanging them on the wall or displaying them in some way. And this box is probably going to get put into a uh, storage bin somewhere. But this is the first thing that they uh, that 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 I saw, and it's the retro collection two pack here with Boba Fett and Bosk. All right, 
The next thing to continue the retro collection is a six pack. So this has got six figures in it and all of these figures are inspired by um, a new hope. And you can see we've got a, uh, a, uh, uh, a Tuscan Raider there, a sand person. Um, we've got Obi-Wan, we've got the death squad trooper, a C-3PO, R2-D2, and a Jawa. Now, I think it would be cool if the Jawa was actually a vinyl cape Jawa, but <clears throat> they're going with the soft goods and, and the cloth cape uh, Jawa there. But uh, these figures, again, same opinion on the retro collection. I like the fact I, I, I like the fact that they're coming back out with these. What I don't like is I, I'm an R2 guy. And uh, I don't like that the R2 um, is part of this six pack. If it was just R2 by himself, no doubt I would get two of them and I would open one and I would and I would display one. But uh, what, what do I think about this six pack? First of all, I don't like that it's a six pack. Again, I, I like how I like it when you can pick and choose which figures you want to buy, because maybe not everybody wants every single one of these figures. but it is what it is. They're releasing it as a six pack. So let's take a look at all six figures. You've got the Tuscan Raider there. I do love uh, his gaffy stick that um, you've got that that's in his hands right there. That was always uh, a fun uh, um, weapon to play with. And the Jawa looks good. The only thing about the Jawa, and I would say the same thing about the original figure from, from back in the seventies and eighties, um, the hood is so big that it kind of covers up the face a little bit. So again, I think this is a little bit of a missed opportunity to maybe do a vinyl cape Jawa, which was very scarce, uh, way back in the day. And, uh, if you can find one of those, that's, <clears throat> the holy grail of figures for some people, but the Jawa doesn't look bad. It's again, these are all, um, these, the retro style is all, it's all about nostalgia for people. And, uh, then we move on to 3PO and R2D2. Like I said, probably we'll pick this up because of the R2 alone. Um, I, I just always love that figure. I don't know if you did this as well, but I always remember taking R2 and kind of turning his body up and making him look like a cannon, like he was shooting something out of his uh, underside there. But uh, that was just something I kind of turned R2 into a weapon. But uh, that was kind of funny. One of the things that I want to point out here, and I have been uh, begging for this for a Black Series uh, look, is we've got the chrome C-3PO. And I love this chrome look on C-3PO. I don't know why we can't get this chrome look on a Black Series C-3PO. Obviously, we can do it in the three and three quarter line and uh, in this retro line, but I want to see the chromed C-3PO in the black series uh line I, I think that'd be great but this these two figures look really nice the r2 especially that was just a great figure way back when and uh it looks great in this picture right here right now uh what else we got oh we've got the death squad trooper and obi-wan um, obi-wan looks good i'm not sure somebody else probably knows you can put it down in the comments if you like if this is a telescoping uh, lightsaber, or if it's just one solid piece from this picture, it looks like it's just one solid piece and not telescoping, um, uh, lightsaber there. And the death squad commander is funny. I just recently with a friend of mine had a conversation and, uh, he was talking about this figure that he had. He only had one star Wars figure growing up and this was the one that he had. And he said, I didn't care that it was a character that I had no idea who it was. It was a no name guy, but I loved it because it was star Wars. And and we laughed about it and it was pretty great. And I was talking to him and I said, that guy's name is the death squad commander. And he was like, really, that was his name. And I said, yeah, that was the death squad commander. Always a, uh, a strange name for that figure, but, um, really cool looking figure. And I'm sure that that's one that, uh, some people would pick up and uh, do some customization, maybe a different head and turn it into some Imperial officers as well. So, uh, we've got these six figures. Unfortunately, I don't think it's a good idea that they come out in a six pack, but some people will probably love that. Uh, some people, maybe not. I wish that we could just get 
you know, pick and choose which ones we get. But in the retro collection, we've got the six pack and we've got the two pack with the bounty hunters. So let's move on to the black series. So let's take a look at what black series figures uh, they have announced. So the first one that we got, we're looking at here is ax wolves. Uh, we knew this character was coming. Um, anything from the Mandalorian is going to sell well, especially if it is a somebody in Mandalorian armor. So this Axe Wolves looks really nice. The artwork on the packaging looks good as well. Uh, my hope is that this is a well-sculpted helmet and it fits well on his head. Uh, that That's kind of make or break for me with these helmets. Um, sometimes we've had some good helmets and Mandalorian shaped helmets. And we've had some not so good, like the deluxe Boba Fett uh, helmet was not that great. Looking at this picture, again, it's just a picture, but uh, it looks pretty nice in that shot right there. Um, here's a couple of different poses. I like the uh, picture there where he's holding his helmet. That looks nice. The head sculpt looks pretty great uh, for Axe Wolves as well. And then the posability, this picture on the right, the posability looks pretty good as well. I like this particular picture, the way that he is holding his uh, blaster and then walking looks pretty good as well. The colors on this is really nice too. The, the darker black or dark gray contrasted with the blue. I think they nailed the colors pretty well on this. So um, this is definitely one I'll be picking up. I would say thumbs up to this one for sure. And I'm sure that a lot of you uh, feel the same way. All right, let's look at War of the Bounty Hunters Boba Fett. So this is basically uh, a Boba Fett that's based on the comic book War of the Bounty Hunters. And in that he this is the, the comic book itself takes place between uh, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi when he has um, control of Han and Car Carbonite. And in order to avoid other bounty hunters coming after him, he disguises himself in all black. Now, I don't know how much of a disguise that is. I mean, it's a, it's a Mandalorian. They, at that point in time where there are a lot of Mandalorians running around, not that we know of, but uh, this is basically the prototype Boba Fett, just all black. Like the prototype Boba Fett basically was all white, and this is prototype Boba Fett in all black. Um, I do like the fact that it's got, looks like it's got soft goods there with the cape. That's always a plus. A um, couple of different poses. It comes with that battle axe. That lo looks really nice. But um, I don't know. This is, this is going to be a little bit expensive. I don't know if I'll pick this one up. It looks nice, but... It's, it's just a repaint is basically what it is. Um, and I could probably 3D print that axe and customize one of the Boba Fetts. I've got like four Boba Fetts already. I could go ahead and maybe customize one and just dip it in black paint. I'm sure it wouldn't look as good as this. But at the same time, it's a good looking figure. It's out there for those that are Mandalorian fans, Boba Fett fans. If you're like if you're kind of like me and you're saying, man, we've got a lot of Boba Fett figures, we've got a lot of Mandalorian figures, which we'll see that coming up in a little bit. It's okay. If you, if you think that they're, they're making too many of those, then just don't buy them. Um, it's a good looking figure. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up because it might be a little bit too pricey. Um, because it's one of those deluxe figures that comes in this special box. So we'll see. Um, I would like to see it in person to see how good the paint job is. I will say that the head sculpt looks really nice, especially if you look at the picture on the right here. The head sculpt on this looks a lot better than the deluxe Boba Fett that I was referring to before, which you more or less had to kind of squeeze it into the correct shape. But there we go. All right, uh, here's another picture of the Boba Fett in the packaging as well. The packaging looks nice. I think that would be a nice way to display this figure. I would probably end up displaying it something like this anyways, as opposed to maybe taking it out of the box. All right, as we continue the Black Series, this was revealed, and this is uh, going to be from the Andor series, Cass and, Cassie and Andor. And, I, and by the way, I'm looking forward to that series. I think that it looks good. There's not a lot of... Um, you know, we, we don't know a whole lot about what's going to happen, but what we do know is that they kind of have a blank slate. There's not anything that they're locked into. I felt like with the Obi-Wan series, and this isn't, you know, 
I'm not going to go into a whole review about the Obi Wan series. There were some thing, there were some things about uh, Obi Wan that I loved, and there were some things about Obi Wan that were just like head scratchers. Uh, ultimately, I think that that would have been a better uh, decision to just turn that into a movie because there were a lot of episodes that kind of repeated themselves. They were done well, but I think that I mean he had to save you know little Leia multiple times, and it's like. This, that story probably would have been better served if it was just a movie, a two and a half, two, two and a half hour movie. But anyways, I'm kind of getting off track here. Um, but with Andor, we've got a, kind of a blank slate. Hopefully we're not locked into characters. Obviously we know what uh, Cassie and Andor's fate is going to be from Rogue One, but we're not necessarily locked into, you know, a lot of other characters at that time so we'll see but anyways back to the figures because that's what we're supposed, supposed to be talking about here but we've got cassian and uh and or and we've got b2 emo i've i've kind of started calling this figure or this character uh bmo but uh, i know bmo is a character from adventure time i don't really watch that show but uh, my daughter does and she loves bmo and so i'm familiar with bmo but this, I'm just going to call him BMO, B2EMO. And uh, get a couple of different uh, pictures here of the figure itself. Um, it looks like the posability is pretty good. The head sculpt looks pretty good. I thought they did a good job on the re release of uh, Cassian uh, in their Black series. And obviously, he's got a new outfit on, which will probably come from the, the series itself. Obviously, obviously, it will. And then we've got BMO there as well. Let's look at another picture, a couple of pictures of BMO, of BMO here. Looks like he's going to be able to move, kind of kind of extend his neck, if you will. Um, but cool looking droid. I Like I said before, I'm, I'm a sucker for droids. And uh, I think it's a pretty cool looking droid. Um, I already found some uh, files online and 3D printed a version of this droid just for fun. And I think I'm going to do some different uh, uh, color schemes with the, with the 3D printed ones that I've got. But uh, pretty cool looking droid. I'm anxious to see what they do with this character, if you will. Is this going to be an R2-D2 type character? Or is this going to be just a droid in the background that's in one episode for five minutes if that and then nothing and you know star wars has some you know characters that have grown into pot you know have grown in popularity and they were only on film for 10 seconds or even less um and so that may be the case in this as well but pretty cool droid i would like to see i would like to see a droid that has an impact like an R2 or a 3PO. We really haven't got that. We kind of had Leia's little droid. Um, oh shoot, I'm I'm losing my mind and and forgetting uh, the name of that droid in the Kenobi series. But anyways, that droid kind of had a little bit of a storyline, a little bit of an arc, but nothing like R2 and 3PO from the orig original trilogy. Um, so anyways, I like BMO. I think it looks cool, and uh, hopefully this will be a nice two pack again i'm not a huge fan of the two pack i mean look at the the, the packaging is nice I, I think the packaging does look pretty nice but you know maybe they could have done a little bit better job with i mean bmo only takes up half of the box and so we'll see the color scheme is pretty cool with the red and the white that was one of the things that uh, i did like about the last jedi i thought the red and the white uh, contrast was pretty good. I wasn't a huge fan of that movie. I thought that he could have done a lot of, a lot more things, uh, with that, that particular movie. But again, I don't want to get a, too far off track here. So let's keep rolling. So there we go. Cassian and BMO. All right. Then we get into these. Now, when I first saw these Halloween black series figures which we've got a wookie who kind of looks like a uh, wolf man and we've got a clone trooper that's got the skeleton on uh like glowing skeleton uh on his armor at first i was like what am i looking at what this is wh what is happening i even saw a comment that said the black series is just turning into a joke but you know this is for those people that that want to do something like this. I mean, over the last couple of years, there were um, holiday figures, Christmas themed 
uh, Black Series figures, and I picked up a few. I was a little bit disappointed in the fact that I couldn't pick up all of them because they were exclusives. There was a Walmart exclusive and a Target exclusive and a and a Best Buy exclusive, and I think one more exclusive. But anyways, they were hard to pick up. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of exclusives. As soon as you start doing exclusives, then it becomes really difficult to find them. If you don't get a pre-order, you got to be on your computer all day. There's just there's just got to be a better way to do exclusives, if you will. But anyways, so what about these two figures? What do I think about them? Well, let's take a look at the clone trooper first. At first, when I saw this clone trooper, I was like, that looks silly. That looks really dumb. Um, but it's kind of growing on me. I've kind of looked at it over the last day or so, and it's kind of growing on me a little bit. It's neat. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, somebody will probably be able to comment. I'm not sure if the skeleton actually glows in the dark or not, but if it does, that's a really cool feature. I think that would be really cool. If it doesn't glow in the dark, then missed opportunity. So we've got the skeleton, which looks kind of neat. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy this though. I don't think I'm going to get this unless I find it somewhere and it's, it, you know, and it's, cheap but uh, the porg is kind of cool with the uh, glowing eyes i don't know well no it's kind of hard to see the porg but the porg with the eyes and it comes with a little box with some uh credits in it or whatnot so the accessories are kind of neat my gut tells me this is going to be a little bit more expensive than i want to spend a little bit more than i want to spend for a figure i can find something else i don't think that this will turn into customization uh, a customization figure for anybody. Um, there's other clone trooper figures out there that people can pick up that, that can do their customizations, but I don't know if it glows in the dark, I may pick it up. If it doesn't glow in the dark, it's not for me. All right, let's look at the Wolfman Wookie. I don't know. This just looks silly to me. Um, it, it just doesn't, it just doesn't do it for me. I do, I do like the uh, the Halloween pail over there, and that looks like one of the. I'm gonna mess up the name of it, but it looks like the ice cream maker that uh, was made famous by the guy in Empire Strikes Back. And again, somebody's gonna yell at the video right now and tell me who, the name of uh, oh, uh, Wolf Hood. I think that was it. Uh, I'm probably saying that wrong, but um, anyways, that's. Um, the little creature on this Wookiee shoulder as well. The name uh, escapes me, but it comes with a little creature. It comes with a little pail. The pail is uh, the 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 uh, trick or treat pail is the coolest thing about this figure. But other than that, I think this looks kind of silly. Um, maybe I wonder. Uh, I'm wondering if this is a new sculpt, you know, for the body of this Wookiee, or if this is just Chewbacca you know, the Chewbacca sculpt that they've used, and then they just made a new head. It does kind of look like the Chewbacca sculpt. I should turn around. I've got a Chewie behind me. Yeah, it more or less, and I can't tell. I'd have to, I'd have to get out and look, but it more or less looks like the same sculpt. So, um, the colors are okay. I like the gray, but give us some, give us some Wookiees like from, uh, the battle of Kashyyyk. That would be awesome. I'd like to see that. Give us a give us a Wookiee three pack, uh, like they've done with um, the GI Joe Classified series with the Viper three packs. Give us a Wookiee three pack with um, three different looking Wookies with different paint schemes and maybe a slightly different head sculpt. Now we're talking this again. Not for me. It's for some people out there, but it's it's not for me. Uh, I probably won't be picking these up. But there's the two figures again. You can see them a little bit more close up. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully, if you're a Halloween guy, Halloween girl, you're gonna you're gonna love these these figures. I wonder if this means that they're gonna skip the uh, holiday themed figures. Probably not, because that's probably they probably pick up some money on that because it's basically just a repaint of different uh, stormtroopers. So, all right, let's keep rolling. All right, so now we get into the medallion um, 
and token series. I'm gonna I'm I'm messing that that up. It's probably that's not what it's called. But we've got uh, let's see one two. We've got Ahsoka Ahsoka Tano. We've got Boba Fett. Then uh, Bo Katan a Dark Trooper. I think there's six of these. Yes, the Mandalorian again and a Tuscan Raider. I have a few of these. Go back. There we go. I have a few of these, but I stopped getting them. The best part of this is the packaging. The worst part of this is the paint jobs. I, I do not. I personally am not a fan of the way that they do the paint on these particular figures. Uh, let me move forward and show you the figures themselves. Um, the, you know, Ahsoka doesn't look too bad, the, but the colors are bright and kind of like on Ahsoka, you can see on her boots that it's kind of, it, her boots are purple. Um, her gauntlets on her wrists are kind of have that purple look to them. The Boba Fett, his whole outfit looks purple and not brown. Um, but it, these are just repaints is what they are. Really, if I'm being honest, the, this whole line, um, for those that like them, great. But it's just a way to use an old sculpt, do a repaint on it, put it in the vintage packaging, and sell it again. What I would prefer, this is what I would love to see, I'd like to see them put all of the Black Series figures in the vintage looking packaging. I, I think they would sell a lot more um, if they put everything in the vintage looking packaging. Cause I think there would be people like me that would want to buy two, one to have out of the package and one to have in the package. The best part of these figures, uh, these medallion figures, the best part of them is the packaging. Uh, like that's a great picture of the Mandalorian, but I don't need another Mandalorian figure. Again, if I turn around and look behind me, I've got one, two, three, four, I think I've got five Mandalorian figures sitting behind me. They're all the same figure. They just have a different paint job. Now, I, that's my fault for buying more than one, but, you know, buying each of the ones that's, that's come out. But I think this is a pass for me. Um, unless I was really wanting to collect this line because of the packaging, but all of these are just repaints of figures that we already have or we've already seen. Um, <clears throat> as I go through them, though, let's let's take a look. I mean, the Ahsoka figure itself is a really good looking figure. Uh, the head sculpt, again, is really nice on both of these. The head sculpt on Boba Fett is great. I think they did a, a great job ca capturing the actors um, that are that are playing these parts. Then we move on to the Dark Trooper and Bo-Katan. Again, the figures look great, but the paint jobs just don't do it for me. I think that, that that Dark Trooper looks silly. The yellow and the orange, or maybe that's more red. It just, it's just not for me. Uh, I'm, I'm just not a fan. I, the one thing that, that kind of looks neat on this is the, the paint application that they've got on the top of his head, maybe. But overall, I don't like the paint scheme. And then finally we get to the Mandalorian and we get to the Tusken Raider. The Mandalorian figure, once again, what you know what would make me buy this? Make his cape a soft good cape. Make it a cape that's posable. Um, now you've got me on board. It's something new. It's something different. The paint job on this doesn't, doesn't look too bad. I kind of do like the... Uh, the lighter gray um, with his with his suit underneath of the armor, but other than that, it's just not a figure that I'm going to pick up. And uh, for some people, you'll pick it up, you'll love it, you love this line. Again, the packaging looks wonderful. I do think that there was a missed opportunity with the Tuscan Raider, though. This obviously is just a repaint of the Tuscan Raider that we have uh, that we see we've saw a few years back. Um, it's a good figure. All of these are good figures, but they could have made a brand new Tusken Raider figure that was one of the Tusken Raiders that Boba Fett ran into in the book of Boba Fett. And the one in particular that I'm thinking of, I, I'm not sure what the name of the character was, but every time my understanding is it was a female Tusken Raider and it was, she was like, 
the cool one, the one that, that was like the, you know, the security guard, the one that trained Boba Fett, the one that, you know, uh, punished him, everything else. I'm waiting for them to drop that particular figure. So I think that that was a missed opportunity. If they would have revealed that in this style, definitely I would have been on board to get that just so I could have that figure because it's new. But we have seen all six of these figures, some of which haven't been, some of which aren't in the hands of people that have pre-ordered them. In particular, the Dark Trooper is the one that I'm thinking of. I haven't gotten my Dark Troopers yet. Um, but if this is the line for you, you're going to love this. This is not the line for me. I, I'm not a big fan of repaints with my six inch line, my black, black series figures, 75, 80% of them. I open, I keep some of them in the packaging. If the packaging is really nice. All right, let's move on to more Black Series. We've got Gaming Greats now. So on the Gaming Greats, there were two figures that they revealed. We've got the Battle Droid and we've got the uh, KX Security Droid. So we're thinking like a figure like K2SO. Now I'm gonna sound a little bit like a hypocrite here because I'm gonna say, I love this. But you're gonna say, well, you were just upset with the other figures because they were just repaints. These are just repaints. Well, yeah, they are but they're repaints of army builders. Okay. The, the battle droids, um, people are going to get multiple of these battle droids so that they can do repaints on them. Um, personally looking at this particular battle droid, I think the repaint, I think the paint job on this and the color scheme with the white stripe down his face and then the white stripes down his body and the, the, the brown and the black together, that looks awesome awesome i really love the color scheme on this so i'll probably pick up at least one probably two of these and maybe another one in order to do uh, some customization i love the pose too where he's kind of down in the crouch uh, as well i i don't know if i ever i have one battle droid um just never picked up a lot of those. I'm not sure if my battle droid can do that pose. He probably can, but this is great. This is a great idea because people will buy multiple of army builders and the battle droids are, you know, say what you will, whether you like them or not in the prequels, they were, these are cool figures. And a lot of people will want to get these because of them being an army builder. And I'm one of them. I'm going to get at least one of these, probably two or three, and like I said, customize one. Then we get to the, uh, um, oh, K2SO. What was the name of, oh yeah, these are KX security droids. Um, I think this looks nice. The paint job is a little bit different than what we saw in K2SO. Obviously, we've got the backpack um, and we've got the uh, the energy weapon that he's got right there as well. Um, this is a really good figure. Uh, the, the K2SO version of this is great. The only thing that I wish on, on mine, the joints are starting to get a little bit loose. I've used them for a lot of... Um, toy photography things and the joints are getting a little loose, but I can tighten those up a little bit with some, uh, different, there's some glue that I bought online that helps tighten joints and it does a pretty good job. But, um, what I, what I was thinking when I saw this was that scene in the Mandalorian where, um, uh, the, uh, security droids and the probe droids were attacking Mandalore and, Again, I would say that these droids, once again, are army builder type of figures. So I can see a lot of people being excited about this. Plus, it's a droid. And like I said, for the third or fourth time today, I'm a sucker for droids. I think they look great. So we've got the battle droid and the HK droids. And I think that those are pretty great. I would say thumbs up to both of these. All right. Uh, then we get a few more Black Series. This is the next wave or maybe a little bit of two different waves. So uh, we've got Grogu. We've got an HK-87 uh, droid. We've got Luke Skywalker from The Mandalorian. And we've got Migs Mayfeld. So let's take a look at all these. Let's start with Grogu. When I first saw the Grogu, I was thinking to myself, another Grogu. We've seen him a few times. Is he really worthy of this large packaging that we're seeing? Because when we first saw Grogu, it came, I mean, the package you could hold, you know, it was, it was tiny. And this figure probably isn't much bigger. What I do like about this figure is two things. All of the accessories and 
it's a different pose. This is definitely a different pose for Grogu's body. It looks like he's crouching down or sitting down a little bit. And you got the necklace, you've got the cup, the frog looking thing, you've got the little ball, and you've got another little cup uh, that he's holding in that last image as well. So I'll pick this up. I like this. I actually think I did pre-order this one. I do like this. Uh, the best part of this, though, is his little egg that he travels in and the fact that the egg comes with uh, a, um, a lid that goes on it as well. I think that that's, um, that's just a cool feature. Again, we've seen this before, but not a lot of people were able to pick this up because I think it came in a, a deluxe pack with the uh, Mandalorian, like the muddy Mandalorian. I think that's where it originally came from. Um, but this is a different paint scheme as well. Um, this probably is something new that we're going to see in season three of the Mandalorian. Um, but pretty good figure. I would say, you know, I'm not crazy excited about it, but I do like it. Uh, let's go to the HK droid, uh, security droid here, or is this a security droid? I, we haven't seen this character before. At least I haven't. I think this droid looks pretty great. I think the best part of this figure uh, is the soft goods that we see. Um, I'm not sure what it, you know, I'm not sure what we're going to see this. How do I want to say this? Obviously, we're going to see this character in season three of The Mandalorian in some capacity. This is a good looking figure. The colors look nice. I also like the cape, the half cape soft goods that we see there. The more soft goods we can get, the better. I am so surprised that on the Mandalorian figure itself that they haven't taken off that plastic cape and given us a soft goods cape. But this is one, I say thumbs up to this one for sure. I'll be picking this up. Then we got Luke Skywalker. Again, I'm going to go to the soft goods. We get the cape, the, the, the cape with the hood, the hooded cape there. And that hooded cape looks great. The way that it's sitting on his head, um, hopefully it'll sit like that when we actually have the figure. Um, something is just a little bit off on this figure, though. I think the sculpt looks good, the body looks good, but there's something about his mouth that just, it, it almost looks like he's pouting. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is exactly what the, the final figure will look like, but there's just something about his face that's just a little bit off. It's not bad. It's just it's just that mouth. He, he, he looks like he's got a... His mouth is just shaped a little bit weird for a Luke Skywalker figure. So um, everything else about him, I really like. I'll definitely pick this one up. All right, let's go to uh, Migs Mayfeld. I like this one. Now, I know we have seen uh, Mayfeld before, but it was in a different, I think it was in a different uh, outfit. He was like in one of the uh, Imperial uh, tank driver outfits. Um, this one looks looks really cool. I like that he's got all of the uh, uh, the gun holsters on his <clears throat> on his chest and on his uh, hips. And the best part of this figure is the little automatic gun that pops up from his backpack. I think that's the best part. Um, but this is a perfect example of collectors. This is my opinion that I wish we had two head sculpts for our figures, especially the ones that are actors because is this expression, he just, he looks like he just woke up. He looks like he's just staring into nothingness. Now, the sculpt itself looks good. It, it, it looks really good. It looks just like Bill Burr. It looks just like the, the you know, the character in the, in the show. But if he's in battle, he's going to have a grin or, a, you know, like, like, you know, something different. He's got a scowl on his face. He's got an eyebrow raised. You know, this, this particular character was kind of sarcastic. He had some history with, you know, he, he's kind of a bad dude, kind of redeemed, ha, ha, kind of a Han solo -y type of character, if you will, if you look at him from season one to season two. 
but uh, it would have been nice to get a little bit of more of an expression on his face other than this one that looks like he's just, you know, sitting down to eat a bowl of soup or something. But everything else about the figure looks good. And again, the head sculpt is spot on. I just would like to see a little bit of expression or give us two head sculpts for these figures. I mean, the price, the prices are getting high enough. It can't cost that much. I don't know. I, I don't know the industry, but you know, we get two different head sculpts in some other lines that give us just as much, much plastic. Maybe that they're not as expensive because it doesn't have star Wars slapped across the packaging, but that's just what I'd be looking for. All right, let's keep rolling. The next thing we saw was um, a Darth Vader force effects uh, lightsaber. These lightsabers are awesome. I really don't have much to say about them. I think the one thing that I do like the most about these is the, uh, the uh, stand that they make for them. Those stands are really cool. And the Kyber crystal crystal is nice as well. The problem with these lightsabers, they're just way too expensive. It's nearly $300. I think it's like $278 for this lightsaber. And that's just, that's just too much for me. <clears throat> it's just way too much. I was able to pick up a bunch of these, um, force effects lightsabers when they came out, geez, 15 years ago. Now the lightsaber itself, like the saber part itself doesn't come out of my lightsabers, but I have a Darth Vader lightsaber and I didn't pay anywhere near almost $300 for the one that I've got. But, um, anyways, it, it's a great replica. And I, I think that this would be perfect for those people that ordered the new Darth Vader, the black series, Darth Vader helmet, this would be a great addition to that uh, helmet in order to display the two together. I think, I think it would be awesome. But again, the price tag is just really, really high for these lightsabers. All right, let's move on to the vintage collection. And I, I love the vintage collection mainly because of the packaging, but the vintage collection I, I kind of hit or miss with me. Sometimes I get the figures, sometimes I don't. Um, most of the time I wait to see if I can get the vintage uh, collection in the stores. If I can find it at Walmart, if I can find it at Target, which is few and far between sometimes, um, I'll pick them up there as opposed to pre-ordering them. But the first thing that we we're looking at is uh, Slave One. Now I know I'm not supposed to call it Slave One, um, but that's what this is. It's Boba Fett's starship, I think is what they're calling it on the packaging. Um, and this is just a remake of the same, um, ship that they, that they made a few years back when it actually was when they were calling it slave one. I'm pretty sure that it's pretty much the same thing. The only difference might be that there's uh, a compartment. I'm not sure if there's a door that opens that you can kind of put Boba Fett into. So, um, the one I actually have this, um, particular uh, vintage collection. I, it was a vintage collection ship and it's awesome. So if you don't have that, if you weren't able to pick that one up and you, and you are regretting it, I would get this because it is a great ship. I mean, the sculpt is great, everything about it. So let's kind of dig a little bit deeper. You can see the backside of it. It is awesome. The, the stand that comes with it in order for you to display it is, is wonderful as well. This is, that's, this is, whoops, let's go back to it. This, uh, slave one, I'm going to keep calling it that cause that's what it is, is <clears throat> awesome. It comes with a Boba Fett figure and it also comes with a little, uh, it looks like a skate pod, uh, as well. But if you don't have this and you're thinking about getting it and you're kind of on the fence, I don't know if I should or I shouldn't, I would say, yes, get it. It is an awesome, awesome vehicle. One of the best that they've made. Um, and, you know, it's a Boba Fett ship, so it's awesome. And it, it's awesome to display as well. I've got it displayed um, and, and on this stand and it looks awesome. All right, let's keep rolling into the figures that they revealed. So we've got Cal Kestis and we've got a Klaatuian Raider. Um, if you played uh, the video game with Cal Kestis, um, a fun game, loved it. Looking forward to the new one. They just announced that, uh, I think, a couple months ago that there's going to be a, a follow-up to that. Um, 
and this particular figure, his outfit that he's wearing looks like it might be from the new game. And then you've also got BD1, the little uh, his little companion droid as well. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I wish we would have seen some packaging for it, but we know it's going to be in the vintage packaging, and I'm sure it'll look great. The Klaatuian Raider looks good as well. The, the hat and helmet comes off so that you can see the head and the face a little bit better. Um, I think this looks great. And this could be an army builder type of thing as well. Um, so those two awesome figures. I'm looking forward to, to maybe getting some of those. Um, then we've got... Um, there was a, I, I think I skipped over a picture. I think that there's a Luke Skywalker in the vintage collection as well. Luke Skywalker from the Mandalorian. Uh, for some reason, I don't have a picture of it, but uh, that particular figure looked pretty good as well. All the, the vintage collection stuff looks great, especially when it's on card. Um, but then we have this here, and I think this is going to be like a three pack. So it'll probably come in a box. It probably won't be... It probably won't be on a plastic bubble on cards. We've got the Mandalorian, we've got a Dark Trooper, and we've got Moff Gideon and as and Grogu as well. Now, the best part of this, in my opinion, is Grogu in the little handcuffs. I think that's hilarious and, and looks so fun. Um, I do like the uh, the fire effects coming from um, the Mandalorian on to the, the Dark Trooper. The Dark Trooper does look really cool, but... I don't have enough information on this. I probably should. I apologize. Those of you, if you have information, put it like what this actually is. Go ahead and put it in the uh, comments. Um, sorry if you were looking forward to this and I'm not giving you enough information, but I, I get the feeling that all of these figures are going to come in a package and uh, kind of a kind of a box set. And if you don't have these in the vintage collection and the vintage side, the three and three quarter size, and you want to get them, this would be a great way to do it. Um, so there we go. And that's it. That's all we've got. Um, I have looked through all of the, uh, the reveals and given you my opinion on them. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Was this a good video that, that gave you some good information? Was it not? You can let me know in the comments. Um, if you liked what you were hearing, please consider subscribing. Just trying to grow the channel a little bit. I'm pretty pretty new to YouTube and, and making these videos. And hopefully I give you a little bit of information that is good for you. Um, and hopefully you have a great day.